I want something, I gotta hide it in my room. Now, if I leave it in the kitchen, or I put it in the refrigerator like in the front, it's fair game. Now, if I take something, okay, and I wrap it up in like 50 grocery store bags, 50 of them, not one, not two, but 50, and I put it in the back underneath the produce, underneath the vegetables, behind the back of the refrigerator, and you take the time to unwrap all of those paper bags, and you take the time to unwrap Fort Knox, because it took time to wrap it, that means don't touch it, and you take time to unwrap that, we're gonna have a problem, because that means it's not meant for you. It means it's hidden in the refrigerator, and somebody took their time to say, do not touch my ish. Okay. So and that's when the mama or the daddy has a right to lose their cotton picking mind because it wasn't meant for you and it had to be refrigerated. How about when you go to a Chinese restaurant or your favorite restaurant and you get a doggy bag? You go to put it in the refrigerator because you're gonna have it for lunch or you eat it later or the next day or you're just like, you just need your stomach to rest to make room so you can eat the rest of your food because it was good. And you got so full where it was no longer tasting good. So you said, let me just wrap it up and get it to go. Now, you put it in the refrigerator. Could be the next day, could be several hours later. The stomach starts to grumble. Okay? You go to the refrigerator and your stuff is not there. Lord. Have you ever seen the exorcist? where the head just turns all the way around because you know it was wrapped in the 50 grocery bags and it was put in the back of the refrigerator which means do not touch uh, my ish because I'm going to knock you out. Mama say knock you out. Mm -mm. Better believe me. Boop, boop.